Hey, welcome. Diet challenge day eight. On the evening sharing today. Um, tonight I have massive, massive cravings. Uh, little energy all day, especially in the afternoon. Um, and some realizations that when I have these cravings, that it's easy to completely go into that feeling. I completely get stuck in the oh, Fuck, I'm hungry, I need chocolate, I need nuts, I need cheese, I need food. <laughs> it's so easy to get lost in there. But And I suddenly recognized it from situations where I get lost in fear or in anger uh, or in any kind of emotion. Like when I dive in completely, uh, it's easy to get lost in there. And then it's like... Um, the only thing that exists in life is this big massive problem which today was hunger cravings anything i would do anything to eat and <laughs> get lost in there <laughs> but with fear and stuff i've learned that as soon as i can be the observer of what's going on if it's like i'm watching myself being in a situation instead of drowning in the situation it's much easier it's not that it's not there anymore but it's much easier and that was my big realization for tonight that when i have cravings now or before i would just totally get lost in it and the whole world would turn around that need for food i would find an excuse to go shopping because we need something and then buy the thing I crave for. Or find another way to find what I crave for. Instead of stepping out and observing myself. And then that's like the first step is to be aware of the <laughs> be aware of the um, getting lost in the need <laughs> that arises, whether it's hunger or whatever. And then the second step would be to go one layer deeper and to just feel the emotion attached to it. So um, when I look at my cravings, which it, what is attached to it? What feeling? Um, there's always this restlessness, this wanting to escape the moment. Because I notice when I tell myself, nope, we're not going to eat. And it's like, okay, where's my phone? Can I escape in Facebook? Can I escape in my emails? Can I escape in work? Can I escape in the book? Or if I can't find anything else. And if there's nothing, I will just escape inside my head and inside my thoughts. So what feelings am I trying to avoid? And then to just feel those feelings. To just sit, not escape, and just feel those feelings. And then today I felt frustration. I felt like a victim of the situation. Like, oh God, poor me. I'm so hungry. I felt really hungry today. I'm so hungry. I need food and I'm not allowed to eat. And I do that more, not just with food, but with every aspect of my life, like, hey, poor me. And then, so I feel small and sad and frustrated and also angry. And then one layer deeper, the third step would be, so what is it that I need? Mm -hmm. Um, like what is my need? What is my desire in this moment? And then I find out that under the cravings is just, and under the sadness and the frustration, is just a need for rest, peace. There's a need for love, for being seen. There's, I think, those primal needs of being loved, being seen, they are underlying almost every, every 
fear, every craving, every emotion. So what I'm learning now in this uh, diet challenge, this detox challenge, is uh, a lot about myself. It's not just letting go of food addictions, it's also, you know, the, the cravings that I want food, it's so similar to all those other frustrated um, fears and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, and when I stepped out with the cravings, when I became the observer of myself instead of the little kid like, I need food, when I was just observing myself doing that, ah, it was it was still there, I still had the craving, I still have the craving to be honest. But uh, I must is letting go, it's more like I would like, I want, but not I must, I'll die if I don't get it. So it becomes more soft when I can talk and communicate with myself again. And instead of looking for what I need outside, so, you know, the love and approval and affection of other people, but also the confirmation of the food gives us, like the feeling of satisfaction that when we feel ourselves, that feeling, we feel it within and not outside. So, yeah, beautiful lessons learned about life through detox. <laughs> Thank you, guys.